Okay, welcome to the Just Only Podcast. So, yeah, so, like, yep. Yeah. So, remember, I have a big announcement. I recently got a job, got a job offer, and it's going to require me to, like, it's going to require me to work extra hours, so I won't be able to do my podcast. But, uh, but I'm just giving you a heads up. Luckily, I had to have paid a 100 or 500 pre- pretty um so you know what is fair so what should I do is so yeah and if I do manage to make those hundred dollars to pay off the thing I may have to I may have to uh, indefinitely pause on the podcast for now so yeah to be heads up so let's start with Raw Raw this week so one of the greatest beloved episodes are the bitter Bret Hart guest started on Raw in the night of Canada this week. The Hitman had not packed broadcast, whatever. So who picked the who what found out this recap of this week's raw? Uh-huh. Why not? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Let, let's go straight to the white six for some American made. On the Hardy Washington said they we had the American White Six with American Made and when they defeated American Made in a street fight. So honestly, heels pick up a part of this and provide sex that's gonna be against the wise system. Every time baby face is tend to fight bad, though Gable and Cole cut them off. This is a case of Monster Rowan cover from being buried under plunder, on living American made neutralizing ringside across the her term suplex that Gable on his layer. How you enter the ring, delivers to the Abigail to his creed. Loomis finished with a frog splash for the win. So, it's not a fun and gigantic match. It was appropriate finale between the two sides. It was interesting to see where the Y6 and Convention Middle and they target. Next could be a post bad blood date with the German day away. Some argue that one side needs to come around with Hurt Gable's heat, but if they pay attention to anything he has done this year, not saying over for his audience regardless of his win loss record. Why it's 63 American made. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Who okay, cares? So, Finn Balor promo. Weeks after the shock of trail for Jane Priest, some of some Finn Balor finally dresses his former friend of the universe. See it with anger. Uh, see it with anger. The so replaying the archer from pushing into the background, keeping him from winning the World Championship in 2023. He's 14, scoring him over the title against the Falls back when Priest is carrying the money to bring Pete Face. This draw Priest in the rest judgment day, we play him apply the ring and attempt to help her fellow Toad twin, Derek twin. Branch proved to be too much. The heels laid, in, laid into the archer infamy with the various crush, so it something to save. This fell like segment destined to. They heat the judgment they back up as they've been beaten down and dominated by the Terra Twins. They work for the moment, but seeing the equality win or two for one sign as recent booking can be forgotten. So, yeah. <laughs> it's been all, all right, here's a reveal. U.S. Network Raw and U.S. Network December. So, basically, from October 7th through the company's exit from U.S. Network December, Raw will move two hours from 8 to 10 p.m. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's also announced for the World Women's World Title. Mm-hmm. The time for my I Know Psychic, or whatever. No story. The Women's Tag Team Champion, Becca Belair, and Cargill for the Unknown Union. They have proven their victory over Fred Don for the titles. There was no feud Monday defending the former holder to retain the titles. The match was source side prepared, prepared to their premium line event. It was actually solid to team exi- exhibited solid chemistry. But there's the workhorse. Gargoyle's post for up top tech formula has been benefited since the ride that he events and Frey Don to work at Team Raven. Well, he recently had a manager several pieces of the puzzle on the relation of the tag team division. Mm-hmm. Blair Cargill defeated Fred Dawn. Cargill, I can see improver in ring performance, selling in which on display here. Street and team one of the hope is on the end of their recent 
because they are more television time. Canada, Canada Calgary's own Bret Hart turned to Raw Jordan to turn away Barry in a square so for special announcement. Survivor Series coming to Vancouver in November. Hitman spoke on points of champion, world heavyweight chain, gun interrupted. Expresses love for Hitman for many of his real West hit favorite wrestlers Goldberg. Zane erupted, Victoria decided to challenge Jim Gerald for a world heavyweight title. Got there again and denied the man to defeat at WrestleMania 40. A brawl broke out, Zane defeats Postponent and Sir Talco. Childhood hero, Hart, Fred, Jesus, use of WWE Hall of Famer, use both men. Eli Kinch, Kane, fans, and established fans, Zane, the mixed man, the challenge, got the sense. But that's going to say more about the short sweet to the point segment. Uh, uh, yeah. Dragon Lee versus Dominic Asterio. The German thing on war by LWO and Ron Asterio. Dominic Asterio defeated Dragon Lee. Lee Morgan factored heavily into the final move. Chopped the knee of Lee, dropping the ropes, hitting him up for the 6 619. Asterio just climbed his frog splash. The match features put the bull wrestling again, but Dan appears to focus on rebuilding the German day and dominant such a force. Guard, this is guard or continue to heat on pair of Lynn Murray and Ray Mysterio. Brown Breaker was a burn be done. Sarah Roach. She was on Metal Reservation Revenge. That attacks in the hand of Bruiser Weight, laying him out. Lee double stomp a top row. Stereo, who hung from the corner, was a great spot, man, whatever. So we got WWE airing a movie tribute to Johnny and Matthew Gara. Yeah, they suck. Live Acker and Natalia Ziena versus Pure Fiction Collective. The Collective of Fusion sucks dicks, you know what I'm saying? Time made a long way to return, Sword Circle Monday, hometown hero Joe Vega, Val the Battle of the Villains, Dolly Stark and Riesler. Mother match for commercial breaks is hot. To, this match was a, a shit a shit load of a match. It sucked. Yeah, yeah, I'll give a fuck. Fuck those Canadians. Fuck the Canadians. Bret Hart's better than Italian. Italia sucks. She's just being a porno or some shit. Anyway. Jim Ratar promo. Okay, Punk Maritar was telling them long history in Hell of Cell at Blood Blood. Uh-huh. And appears so on yada yada yada, who fucking care? So McIntyre vowed that Pierce was signing Punk's death warrant. No more announcement, he announced for the match between two only the look concern. Introduction of potential pro between the two, Benjamin, seeing a rain bad news in the development of the Sunburn Tax. What was it this week? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's the ends where the weights McIntyre win or loss after bad blood. Punk and Rival and Gradual and Tesla Fuse is on Rumble January and Lance next month. We'll bring appropriate conclusion inside the top five of Sailor Swatcher with first time on October 5th, 1997, a world by blood event. Back to our direct idea. And whatever. And Raymond Sarah versus Finn Balor. The revival of the German day credibility continues to be about a brutal attack on the Rey Mysterio. A one on one showdown with the two most influential beside her. <laughs> when the inaugural of the Universal Chant trapped in a fall flamer in a rose, he used to break half of the Boston crowd at a time. The referee count to five. Not though. Ray Battle Attack Ray to Shang Long Kit Drop Kiss and Luchner Lutra Ring Pose and Apron over and talk to the medical security. Links <laughs> 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 Arena, this is where I've been waiting for the Irishman. He beat he betrayed Shane Brace their semicide, immediately lost to any energy that come out of the show. Since then he's been a quiet, he's been a beat down, he's been beaten down to like Africa. The promo coupled the beat down the win over Rain Serio and the assault offer built the Irishman one night. So the triple A creates momentum, continues heading to bad bloods, and I get the fans pressure and that priest is easily a steamroll Balor. Mm-hmm. Christopher from Balor needed to rediscover the killer instinct that sent a lot of message clear that Drummond they are not to mess with. 
He has a huge asset that says company trying to reestablish battle and main defense. Star driving day, dominant force at just summer slam. We go to the number one contender. The inner Jays will face Brown Baker, made of in the victory of the Monday's main event. Four right handed a blood miles to drag and beat down a bronze Strowman to reclaim his trip to Atalanta in a shot with at the second generation star. The, the match was excellent. Best of the night features a straight effort to slow down Strowman's so time effort from Bronson Reed made sure that Miles and Mom men not advance by driving through a non stable. They were actually doing gentlemen that done we a, a bit expect that would and most of them remain the picture in terms of Cowdy anticipating immediately popular given how to sneak the title shot but coming for short, it'll be the time to give him the final push. Russo versus Bay Ranker will be red hot in contest in Atlanta. Russo defeated Dunn, Strowman dragging off. The match sold sort of three solid opponents working to a neutral strong and keep from building momentum. It's a mess in 2017. All war Strowman hopes to keep him from heating up. We want more Dragon off versus Dunn. We can I know suppose I know it guy aside enter a friend diction is a great visual spot. Monday show did a wonderful job said a bad blood by heating up the judgment day, introduced the main event Punk McIntyre. Two big matches from Priest Ripley was position Uso Breakers Challenger. The return of Bret Hart plays second with all Zane got the match at heat potential matchup matchup. Everything did not serve a purpose. Urge the credit was approach was was dumb. It was, it was a weak show at the beginning of the three, three, three hour marathon broadcasts. In retrospect, it all sucked. That's my fucking thoughts on Raw this week. Yeah. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Anyway. Um, so, here's some. So, uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh huh. Uh, all right, I'm thinking of something. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, I got one, only got one news for now. So Ricochet is going to be teamed with Seema in the Glee event on October 6th. So Ricochet is now exclusive with Ollie Wrestling at the Powerway WWE. Ricochet made his debut at All In. He appeared on AWTV. It was root permanently in AEW. Ricochet started to spread his likeness through the international wrestling scene. It was announced that Ricochet teased the Seema for upcoming Gleet Show. No announcement in regard for his opponent, re- opponents for Ricochet Seema at Gleet Show. So, uh, check the updates. So, yeah, pretty much. So, let's watch. All right, let's go to Dynamite now. Okay. All right, let's get to Dynamite now. Fuck it. It's a Dynamite. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm, yeah. There you go. All right, Dynamite this week. Tati and Gottwood, Cassina Gottwood this week is on for Tony Dynamite. We're trying to box for the tag titles at the Grand Slam this month. It's September, so it's good. In two weeks, so uh, whatever. Parents are monsters, so whatever. This is post, I don't know, post all out, so. Yeah. Okay. So Dynamite starts with air of footage of monsters leaving all out saying he hoped people didn't enjoy what he did at Brian Dancing. He didn't. Dancing doesn't have to sign for any longer or two years. Oh, he made a commitment to something real. But they have a monster and gone with you. They can try that for money. Japan 50. No. Ego just I don't meant to call it. Fresh rest of us all. So the monster he never told no guys are can't pretend to be any other. No. He basically talk about he has a staff dancing in the back. Because he wants to, because this diplomacy doesn't work, he has to choose war. <laughs> They're never able to skateboard into the arena, but I think tonight, just engage the rest of the every world title contract. Contract. Okay. Yeah, Kesha K talks about his Casilla got my contract, gets him grants him any world title opportunity time he wants. K said basically Nick Wayne told word on the street, Kesha's infinite aura. Kesha has his cut and undeniable. She was times was stolen from them, but a kill switch got by a throw saw her eyes looked in his eyes. 
Uh, a monster wrecking machine, killing the monster cage. Trump bring us cage, teasing, cashing all out, fancy. Cage said he was paired to sign a kind of making a fish, but with a tie and plate, Brian days were numbered. If he thinks being bad, so can be bad. Something apparent on Cage will do. He'll make Bree wish he was around with TT. Now in Cage face to face the TBS now forever. Say he'll be world champion as Cage held his contract with Aries on Savior Rain Sign before he walked away. Kiss Savia and uh mm-hmm. and Nick Wayne feud coming up. So Renee Paquette back to Don Kells and Ash Champion, Osprey Kells thing, Osprey thing it up. Osprey, Fletcher, they're they're up for the tattoo gauntlet. But Takashi is less than grill as the Spray Fletcher walks off. More to this. It'll come come on later on. <laughs> He is, he is, he is huge. I see Takashi kicking out Osprey and or Takashi leaving the group. I don't give a fuck. Skateboard bus pulls up backstage and appears story for the ring for an opening contest. Even the Jack Terry defeating Real Rush retained the title, TNT title. It was a relatively quick defense. Stringer is just strong, strong, and fast, lost it all out. It's going to be interesting to open challenge for Perry team title, new challenger, or something. Oh, shit. Perry, it's uh, one of the days in the cover of my name. Perry, it's on Age of the Ring. Bush, five, three, both stop and help those cars. They kind of talk things to break. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Perry, yeah, you got Perry. Yeah. So, yeah, uh huh. So, Mallory is calling Perry backstage after the match. Thoughts went well. Perry said people started crucifying him, so he's gonna worship him next. Perry threw the T team battle back in the skate bus, skate go bus, and while drove off. Push it out of the lights out of the cage, and she swerved a hangman. But Cat didn't walk on Paige back saying, Where his head's at now? Paige said he found a dollar house. Strickland calls home, he would have burned them all just to he can pay for what he did to pay. His family met everything he did to Strickland and he got his way to pay the Strickland for him. He wouldn't buy you and hurt you. We are records because said that as Hang with the hell, Paige drops some backstage work from Clary. Top flying with great he put all dark water boys say, Ew, you know who Paige is anymore. Jack Jarrett's next thing you want to die take that to the pet. Might be going to smile and switch to Eric Gray. Jared said Paige will regret the day later on Jared's wife. He learned the rich prince of the look from Sarah as a mirror. Paige Waffle, Jared tossed in a bunch of chairs, starting off with Karen Jarrett. They don't host others tend to start it off. Karen Jarrett, late going others will tend to Jarrett. Whatever. Come here, Perry, Perry, trials never happened. John, that the new group attacked them. They say the page to put next up. The company's broken. We have a lot of venable. Pack has been very well for uh, nine more. He got himself the purpose. The embassy has failed. This company is theirs. Pass away. Pack starting off. Moxley struggled with falling. Lander for walking on as well. Later, she arrived back to the career with Jericho. Said he's worried that he was out of custody for a reason. Go. Jericho said, Why is all jerk? Because he's in the backpack. That's week four. I'm paying him for so. The time Big Bill said Cassidy must suffer the consequences. Ricochet defeated Gavar. It was a great match. Out we take the week. <laughs> he entered the match. Beast Morris hit the ring, flattened Ricochet with spear. Frustrated Gavar grabbed the chair, made the same. So Mortis retreated. So we're getting a Mortis versus Ricochet feud. So I don't know what's going on with Mortis. How did I put Shanghai on the fan between me and Gail and Christina? Oh, well. Pat, but get backstage with Kata. Tyler Lyle was hard night at night. He walked on tears. He called with Walker and Kendall Takashi. Talk calls. So Kata didn't play me. And Kata Takashi will be a champion. Kata champion. Until he got into a car fan, walked off, whatever. Dark Fire finally gets face to face with Mossley. It was a talk about annual with a world title chain, opportunity, world title 
contract guarantee. So now it's gonna be Mossy versus Darby Allen for the world title opportunity at Grand Slam two weeks. Then we go to Marvez with Christian Williams asking about the effects of Grand Slam. We got heard from Guinness telling Daniels to want to talk to Cody Khan. Dan said, trust him, Khan will hit one here at Saint. So the commentary talked about the tribute to September 11, 9-11. We are made to think we need a, in a premium grand match, whatever. Mm-hmm. So after the post-match that saved for Mina Shrek return. Like after the match, Mia Maria May did a cut a promo. The match here looks so relation and the message should come back, whatever. Young Bucks are here. My letters are whispering upset that I got to beat the Nicholas series and they bumped the gut with. She could look the channel and immediately on the live watch live. We got video packages to re avail with also Terry J. Hader. Jericho, Big Bill, Keith to be our savages. It was a post night. Jericho, welcome. Talk about the rules of renowned dogs. So, yeah. So, Casting got the revenge by just crashing $7,000 poor worth of pennies in Jericho's Bentley convertible. Cast out one back with his act. Jericho was furious, furious, but he didn't even look like the car was damaged. Guess laid out Trevor Dan Ryan Danson for the world title in two weeks at Grand Slam. That's what it is. So we're getting Hook versus Strong in this matchup. Two weeks, so possibly some. John Buck set the stage for the head of the main event. So Osprey Fletcher won the Tatsy Gotlet and attached outside of Grand Slam. Yeah. <laughs> Fletcher and Osprey stared at Daryl Fletcher. Yeah, Fletcher stared off with like with the box. So we're getting up. Yeah, pretty much we're getting this something like that. So for collision this week, we, we got Betia versus Grizzle Young Veteran. Next week's Dynamite is Jericho versus Arch Cassidy. And yeah, that was pretty much a Dynamite review. And that's all to say. Um, yeah, pretty much. Next week on Ring of Honor is pretty sure. Whatever. All right. That's a Ring of Honor now. Okay. Ring of Honor, that's the one this week. The, my, my thoughts on it. The number in Texas. Okay. So another week or another world on the tape by next week. He is going to be the longest reign where R.A. Champ passes the record with testament of her hard work, dedication, R.A. Before we get hard work, to, there was going to have to go through because we had no chance to start up for presence or salary. Irish Dolores Proving Ground Man, Athena, Atlanta Jr. versus Tia Avalon. I'm delighted to put Tyler Chan's show for a word this week. We can teach you the special for Century Wrestling 101. Avalon's not the feature on Irish TV, then not proving ground for his glamour. So, Atlanta Jr. The winner is still Atlanta Jr. Average is a amendment. Felix Starks, Jutes. The emergence I'm in mean, there. Really starts to talk about the cool things that are going on already trying to earn the uh, MT. Dana praise Lux and talk about changing her minion number to be her teacher with slice and snuff. All the credit for things to Jay Stung. Dana calls Star Snatch and says she dealt in her stitches should have made she got the five challenge seller. Started stitches get snitches, stitches. Uh Hyde Cameron versus Queen Amita. I'll get to the end of the chance. There's Ellen has stepped in that ring of two months for this, so to show why she belongs to the ROH AA ROH Women's Division. The match was fire. Amina got her win to the home in phase three. ROH should still have her sights set on Athena. Queen Amina wins. Top flight. Uh, and that's our drive versus Parker, Leon, CD, Bennett. Mm uh-huh. hmm. So, top flight and a Chandrani one. You go to camera, camera review, review for camera get a word at L- extra elevator interrupts. Maybe it's camera for interview two years ago. Got camera got mad and walks away. Elements said camera is a good kiddo. That one is that fly the front. 
The owners are all over to give them our tag title sign at the match. Both the guys have just came out and tapped the outliners behind. Shane came to the aid of the outliners, seemingly ending their feud. Stunning that scene, stunning in a few couple of months ago. Exchange handshake. That the outliners and the, the outliners won. Robin Renegade was still at the list. Three squashes in a row. Renegade won. Jacob Watts promo. Watts caught Adrian Nijuku for a match that is in a matter of watch. He's not going to be ready for what is coming to him. The Righteous with Dunn versus James Blackheart and JC Vellant. They're squashed. The Righteous one. I Dry versus Sammy Guevara. Okay, so starting in off crew, so Guevara wants to be one on one match to the rest of your Alex in the back. Guevara said Guevara is missing on him. Can't wait to feel a little tense. This me and Guevara. So starting the rest of Premier Athletes are involved in the one. Sterling Policy and my game ball. Garvar was able to fight them all from his hometown. Garvar win. Ravel promo. Yes, that Ravel has a good got mad. I always said Mira sounds better. I think he's a different champion now. Diamond comes to the locker room and doesn't have any savings. She's mad that Velvet second and knows in her business. Never tell Diane to step up, says so she's in due time. Lady Frost versus Promise Braxton. Not a squash, but Frost is back in our age. Willie Mac versus Exus Prime. This match is too long since Max left his our age from the Willie Prime is a local pastor. Mac got the win after he won the car over on the match. This one could have been a lot shorter. Mac got empty head from um, Never say D. Braxton B comes and runs and B say you ready? ready. Yeah, and the team. Mm. Then we said B needs a child more than he calls him. Then we said a couple of weeks, the horse horse in the back, and B does not shout out. Jay's doesn't like him. B does read the size of calm down, does not work. Press advance with scam is a pre tape promo for the match. Vance and doesn't hear anybody anymore. She's done winning. Mr. Brody. Lead down. Do something for himself when he proves himself. All right, Vance won quickly with match. Press the Vance. One. Mm -hmm. SAP. Appear the soul versus Ace of Space Cam and Joe Alonzo. That is squash. Yeah, SAP one. If you go that side. L, yeah. Commander AR Fox versus. The man is the main. It'll be question why you have such two hours at this point. Commander, AR5, in a rush versus the car. Ooh, and I should go to the rest of the champ, main event spot, I think we're gonna go rush, rush, and run around with that for rush be outside of the top flight. Rush wins, and he really is celebrating a great match. Who the show? <coughs> The episode did not have to be two hours at some point. I felt like also Dragon Crowd did not like match the live match stuff the episode with pointless giving them impression and stories. We don't want to chat about wrestling. Oh well, till next week. That was ROH. That, yes, that was ROH. Let's go straight to SmackDown. Fuck Rampage. Everyone knows what happened. Who fucking cares? Then rant and collision. That's about it. Alright, so SmackDown now. SmackDown. Yeah, so basically, Rose Reigns forced Joy Force 16 to feud in group in different ways. So, Cody and Roman fought over the top prize, executive of WrestleMania's. Now they got the team together over the throwing faction when Reigns started. Bloodline, the major development happened on Friday, season from the SmackDown. SmackDown returned to USA Network. Started with a steel cage match for the Wind Spirit WWE Champion. Rose defended his title as a summer slam match against. Online's new tribal chief Solo Sokola. By night's end, Rose and Join Forces is the braver WWE's greatest rival. I also the Rue line also featured developments of the women. Here's the little picture. Before we get to that, let's let's uh, what, ha what happened on the show. So Mitchin defeated by Renevin after the hidden soul foot. Green and Nevin laid out Mitchin's post match. 
Coming out was Randy Orton defeated a town under. Austin Dare Wheeler by pinfall after that one hit stunner on Waller. This is the Orton was Owen's mystery tag team partner. Nia Jack Town, Bailey, Naomi, and Shun tag team out next week and Jax and Stratton. So, yeah. So, the Bailey and Naomi win. They get a little top shot of bad blood. Jax and Stratton win. The Bay Face must leave SmackDown. Bad Andrade defeated Cameron L. Hayes by pinfall. Al Ranch version of his finishing with a message. LA Knight atoned. Andrade is the next U.S. State, State title challenger. Mm. Great show. Now we go straight to the bloodline, the real one. Rage will clean the yard against bloodline. So, on Cody defeated the call in a pinfall and slow key match. It was to open the show. So, Bloody Rose gritted through the physical demand against the cola. The chair of the penalist master structure took a terrifying guest superplex off of halfway. Rose had a pair of highlights of real Cody cut off the fence, crossed on the top of the cage. The call cut off Rose. The champion called to the cage door, but their cross will put the, put the bloodline to travel the down for good. <laughs> the bloodline Jacob by two time and time and time time climbed the cage to beat down the champ post man Rose to consider a big move from the bloodline to arrival as our former travel chief Reigns. Rhodes Reigns United Defender of Tonga blow up Sakoa told up by two. Four rivals Rhodes Reigns had ten stare down in the segment. Later evening the general manager Nick Aldis and also Sakoa by two assigned the contract where a tag match against Rhodes Reigns at Bad Blood. Rhodes interrupted the eldest, staying in the group with Rhodes' father and the Rhodes watching his hands with him. Rhodes, eldest, and Rhodes until the segment. Rhodes claimed not only the original Chievo Chief, but also the original Chievo Chief. He said WWE belonged to him, drawing out the unscrewed WWE chain. Rhodes said that Rhodes lost his grip on the company when he lost to Rhodes at 40. Former rivals squared up, then were interrupted by Sakoa Fatu. Dung on low attack Rhodes, Rhodes behind, but Heroes got the better of the exchange. The attendant blindside was going to compel Rhodes. Reigns signed a contract with Bad Blood. Action pack episode SmackDown Rolls Reigns teaming up back bus occasion. It's a huge opportunity for Fatu to share the ring with two of the biggest stars of the decade in a PE pay per view match. The, the match is a tie way at Corporate Rose's Bloodline. Marquee match, but the Rose has to suggest he won't be involved in the feud at the Bloodline. That's a wise call. At least plenty of time for WWE Free to put together a piece for all Bloodline showdown. Survivor said war games in late November. So, yeah. Mm hmm. And that was a SmackDown review. So, before that, I want to call out Jobber Nation, that jackass who went on a rant about AEW, about Mega Say, Bully Ray, AEW essentially. I feel Jobber Nation sucks. Like, he talks negative shit for no reason, and he has no valid criticism. His criticism is unvalid, and. Straight up stupid. That's my thoughts on Jabba Nation. He can eat shit and lay my and eat my dick. So yeah. All right, let's go straight to Collision, the last show. All right then. All right, let's Collision for last. Mm -hmm. Collision for last. Mm -hmm. Long way match we have to our Collision. Retros protects Collision. Views other matches and action. TNT title, TNT title defense. Yoko Sakasaki makes his return. Take on 3AD. We have the Golden Iron team with hologram against the Beast Wars, Supreme Athletes, and the rest. <laughs> Let's start. Closing begin with the TNT champion Jack Perry right now, second skate but bus. Shabbat Anderson are on the call to Jack Perry versus Daniels for the TNT title. Simple TV meeting for Perry. Understood Daniels going for revenge or revenge against the elite. What we're doing here is Daniels is still vice president. This power struggle is still happening. Most part, they care the aspect. Elite John Cole is a bad story. Never said everyone better. We were left in the rear of you. The match came at the Paris Principal Daniels set the open challenge last night's rampage. It was no stern. Entrance Hook vs. Roderick Strong for a W title official for Dynamite Grand Slam.
uh, at the exchanges. So Perry hits the glass jaw and needs to retain the title. As an imagine Perry said that the people don't like him are the ones who can't have the truth. They ain't gone on the bus and drove away. I'm just really distracted here. Yuda was in the back. So looks in there so he wants to share information for Brian Dance. I respect for his family. Has spoken to any of the BC, B, B, BCC members since all out. They try to use Dance's lessons for folks on the match tonight. So, Honga versus the Korean athletes. It was a one. It was basically like. It was based on a one-off match. Like, Hogan had destroyed on knees, kicking a move. And even Briscoe had to dive off the fence and back. Hologram hit the 32 DT, 20 DT for the win. After the match, Morris attacked Hogan and for Elroy Briscoe fought him off. Oh. Then we got a footage of our Cassidy and Jericho last night, Samuel and Mr. So. Cassidy was a trio's match, but Jericho was the most still going to be the bet. After the match, Cassie held Mystical Fire on Jericho. Big Bill posts his pack. Cassie was for a camp for interview, but attacked by the Larry Tree. They stuck Cassie in the hand and stole a backpack. Broke Jericho Bass. Broke Bass ran the picture over Cassie's head with his backpack. A little backwards, so. Anyway. It was a short video and an pendant was still halfway. Looking for some AW tape to watch. All choices were tag team matches for AW Orange history. Forever Not Glory versus. Clay and Young Vox vs. Sting and Darby Allin. So you like stuck in my interest in the tag team titles. Alright. Well, AW Women's Champion Alexi Maria Murray with Bastion and Alexi Nero. She now shared with Celebration Wish version of Zen and also Doug Todd Ohio. Maria said she had her best time at Maria's work. The shady spirit could celebrate proper celebrate. You could suck as I introduced us to so you and May's belt. May said ripped Sasaki's head off and Sasaki probably no sold her. With Utah. Defeated <laughs> anti Henry Beef. It was a good match. Henry taking advantage of Utah's absence. They brought Diane Sanson. Yuta's going to be a little part of the board. CC exposure on angle one and another. Let's get some angle TV wins. Yuta got the win with the... With the... Of the cattle mutilation. Sarah and Queen Nina were backstage with in there. Steve said that the Mina had a lot of potential, but she wasn't ready to be a top star. For the Jordan, the Diva Juju, so Sam and Nita didn't have time for it. She had her own match to get ready. Do you turn her attention to her opponent tonight? You can say, Loki. She bought her bad hair feud for three years and mirrored in fighting. Do you call Sasaki break her leg? Do you not make things worse tonight? NJ backstage, she thought about a dance Japanese tour. She jarred him, noticed she was tired, beat up, but still wanted more. She owned Maria May and Lee seat in her ring room, Mercy Renate, J. Sav, anything else. See how much better she was, she could try her. The commander prior party defeated John Cruz. It was a squash, true squash. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that was my I don't know how. Anyway. Well, I asked McGinnis how I could share Brian Dance with Pete at Red Slam. McGinnis scanned Con Nora sure he's playing the song, so it's playing that dance with Miss Grand Slam. Since Darielle put a schedule talk show like dance on the line stand, McGinn is asked for a match and dance so it's clear the time to show. But it gets that if dancers shut up, it would be out of cowardice, not a physical ability. McGinnis threw a highlight package of the actual dance in the ring. So no I beat dance and convinced he had it sixteen years later. McGinnis was in the best shed of his life. Dance to a physical wreck. Contouring dance. I guess that you know, dance was still a chair. I guess that he was still in dance a career in New York. So, both Bill from McGinnis dance and match to the petrol of the pothole from Diamond Card and Dark Title. I'm not going into any more to it, but anyway, okay. Yuko Sakasa defeated 3 D. Sakasa used the new Helen, which is a fresh name for Mary May to win the title again. 
We are making commentary as Guinness is it's the combat is occupying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So after the match, May jumps on Saki on the ramp, but when May went for Sub Zero, Saki fired out, dropped the super kick. Saki held up the winning title belt, crowd chatting the name. We got another stylized video for the Outwaters. Top flight rear rush, they were talking like crazy. They need to get the lights together after together. The bad man game defeated Cage of Agony. It sucks. Agnes 3D was in the back. When Amita walked past over a match, she mockly asked Steve in her performance of a lost how it was done. Queen needed to defeat Robin Renegade. Amita vs. D could be solid food to get Amita some focus. So, yeah. So, after the match, CD jumped Amita in a match, chopped block, D had Amita in a single leg crab to the corpse forced her way out. House of Black or Dark Root. They talk about something referring to the top fly. So, yeah. Top fly in the House of Black. FTR versus Grizzle Young Vetch. <sighs> <laughs> So yeah, FTR defeated the Crystal Young Vets. Mm, so yeah, we had a cut out then a lot of sharp shooters submitted for three. Cetras kept brawling FTR in the match. Hours came to make the save. FTR shook their heads afterwards. So a car ran out of dynamite with Marina Master AD versus Kianina and Yuka Sakasaki. All announced the next collision was Dustin Rose signing Guevara versus Tavian Bennett in a bunkhouse brawl race tag team titles. So that was my collision review. And this is the end of the podcast. I'll see you next Sunday. Thank you. Yank you all. Thank you.